Let's see. Oh, look at that nice long string of hair. Oh, did oh, you see that? That was cool. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. That was good. Don't mess with me. <laughs> Here we are at Midnight Science Club with a new recruit wit in training. Her name's Olivia. So I tell you, Olivia, just, you know, science is an, at sometimes it's an experimental activity. We don't do experiments all the time. So the idea is here, I gotta get you some matches and get me some matches. There's plenty of matches for you, plenty of matches for me. I got matches, we got, are you a match person? Do you use matches a lot? Not a lot, but I do know how to use them, so. See, so let's fire, let's fire up our stuff here. Now you'll notice that my, uh, she's a wit wit. That's a wizard in training training. And probably when we start, you put on those glasses. I know they look as uh, classic as a thing, but then again, I just don't like the, the smell of burn eyeballs. Their smell eyeballs burn. It's just not good. It's just not a good day. Well, I don't really bother me. It's just the screaming and yelling. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's offensive is the screaming and yelling. So the idea is, of course, that the, the candles making a supply of wax and those vapors. It's actually not the wax that's burning. It's the gas that comes off that wick that's burning. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. You say, what's burning the wax? And you say, well, if you look closely, you'll see that the flame really isn't even touching the wick. It's kind of a well, it does kind of, but there's a layer of gas around the wick. They call that a crook's layer sometimes. The idea, of course, is to blow it out as quickly as you can and get a nice stream of smoke and get, oh, you see that? Yeah. That's cool. That is pretty cool. The question is, how can we get a longer stream that's undisturbed? Because if I let it go out, you can kind of see how it's, oh, look, it's going all the way up over yeah. here. And what's causing that? Air. Well, the air is, of course. Flow. But it's uh, air, probably the air conditioning or something, or just us, you know, me going like this with my hand. Yeah. Keeps the air, you know. So the idea is how can we straighten it out? I guess one of the old tricks that he did back in the 1800s is they would take, instead of blowing it out, they would take a, a, a wine glass. And I hope this doesn't shatter. Let's be careful it don't shatter. Do you have insurance? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you got insurance. Okay. <laughs> Hey, it's Jake Wizard 4 here at Faraday Studios. We got our friends over at Hardware Science to put together a sweet little bundle. We call it the Green Bundle. Normally this would go together for what, 60 bucks, I heard him say? Where we're gonna sell it to you for 40 bucks. This kit is called Desktop Hydroponics. You say, I don't think I have anything to do with hydroponics, do I? Yes, you do. It's a part of your daily life. Balloon science. You can get a lot of trouble with balloons. And you can also learn a lot of science, especially basic physics and some of the secrets of Newton's laws of motion. The Wizard's Book of Science Secrets by, who is it? Who is it? Wizard Four, son of a gun. He must be a good looking guy. Aha, the green bundle. Here's this setup, this hydroponics. It demonstrates how water moves through the soil and gets up to the seed and the seed transpires and grows. This is a completed version of the balloon powered car, a construction and analog thinking. If you want to get your hands on this, just check down below and, and it'll show you how to do it. You can order this stuff, but I encourage you to do it quick because people really love these kits. So get your hands on them. The idea was be that you would lower this in the flame and you get it down there and it would run out of air, you know, oxygen. Not, so then if you pull this straight up, you'll kind of create an upward flow. Perfect straight line. I get a straight line. Now, I don't know. I, this is my first time. I've never done this. So I thought Olivia and I would sit here and try it. Okay. In case we have an accident, everybody say goodbye, Olivia. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hey, no. guys. Hey, got 911 dialed. So how to do this? I don't even know. Left-handed, right-handed. We're going to have to figure it out. You ever done anything like this before? Well, try try doing it just without the glass. Without the try glass. Try to get the flame. Okay. Did you already do that? I've not tried this right, yet. Okay. Get the flame to jump. That's right. Ooh, that was a two incher there. And that was about That's an inch cool. and a half there. Okay, okay. So I'll try that again. Yeah, this candles. Oh, that was That's a lot. Right. Uh, you blew it out. <laughs> that yeah, yeah, you kind of blew all your smoke away, didn't you? Aww. Yeah, it's all right. A little too intensively. It's kind of got to get a huff, don't you? I just want to see if it does go out first. What do I have to do to get it to go out? I guess I ought to try that. I'm going to go down in there and get it. Ooh, Ooh right there. Perfect. And then if I go straight up, oh, that is better, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's better. Oh, look at that smoke up in there. <laughs> this is going to be good. Let's put it on there and see where it, what you have to do to get it to go out. 
Well, it uses up the oxygen right away, doesn't it? Let's see. Oh, look at that nice long string of air. Oh, did oh, you see that? That was cool. Oh my God. <laughs> First time. Yeah. What the, what the technique, but look at that. You go down there, it can, oh, it almost goes out. It's, well, oh, I gotta get the cheese off of here. Here we go. Go down, now go straight up, Jake, straight up, Jake. Where'd it go? I can't see it. Ah, crud. Made it too long. I'll take some practice. <laughs> yeah. I'll take some practice. Okay. I saw that one you did. That was sweet. Okay, I think I got this. That was sweet. Let me see that one. There she goes. Here she goes. Super she focused. Goes. There it is. Oh, look at that stream. Look at that stream. Look at this. Oh, oh. sweetness. <laughs> Perfect. She just whipped the old wizard. <laughs> My golly, girl. I thought surely I could do better than a high school girl. It's a thing to do this and then the old wizard, I'm supposed to know everything. That goes out. Well, that means something. Do we have the same kind of candle? So where are you working part time? Um. I work at Minissa Pools. Oh, that's right. You're a lifeguard. Yes. So have you had to pull anybody out of the water yet? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. It's you... so scary. There's a little boy. He was on the slide. Oh, really? I think, yeah, I think I was more scared than him <laughs> getting was, him out. Was he unconscious or was he just? No, he was just in the water. Just He was in falling. trouble? Yeah. So I went and got him and he, when he got out, he was like, yeah, it was okay. I'm fine. I was like, I was shaking. I was so nervous. It was so bad. Your lifeguard had actually got to guard alive. Yep. Wow, what cool is that? Oh no. Oh, did oh. you see that? That was seven inches right there. That, oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even get it. This is embarrassing. You got this. Focus. Ah, that was, a, that that was, was good. three and a half. Yeah, that's not as good as yours, but I'm getting there. Wow, sweetness. Olivia, this lifeguard, <laughs> just saved the little boy's life. Okay. And now she gets to do this. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to like this. I know, I was just waiting right there. I didn't want to like it. That's pretty doggone good. Yeah. I think this is a good, it's a lot better than blowing on it, isn't it? Yeah. I think we, I think we validated that. Like, are you able to light the smoke within the glass or something? It might be interesting. Like, if you, oh, no. you, if you oh. turn it up and then turn it up, yeah. can you... Well, we'll see. That's not, I don't... Okay, we'll just lower the glass and collect some of these fumes. There it is. Ready? Yeah, I'm turning vertical. Nah. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, not dense enough. There's a lot of variables, and then finding which candle has the dirtiest flame, I think, is is the trick. Maybe moving the glass. Okay, and then I'm gonna come up. Oh. That was good. Don't mess with me. <laughs> the gentleman swore and the lady swooned as the wizard made his flame jump. So I'm completely satisfied with myself. Oh, that That's was a good. good one. That was a six incher right there. <laughs> Congratulations, young lady. Thank you, thank you. We now establish the Olivia technique. This is now called the Olivia <laughs> technique in honor of her saving that young boy's life. And this is your reward, you having this technique yes. named after you, the Olivia. Ta -da. <laughs> and we'll keep refining it. I think we have to pick out the right candles the next thing because you get a no drip candle, it's gonna burn clear, cleaner. Yeah. I'd like to find an old fashioned tallow you know, they used to make candles out of fat. Oh, yeah. That ought to be, that ought to give off some really significant smoke. But you just helped us make a big step yes. in the world of wizardry. <laughs> do you think you'll want to come back and do this nonsense? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, I won't have to look at Cody and this cameraman all the time. This is beautiful. <laughs> we did a little trial and error experimentation trying to get that flame to jump as far as we could. And then we did we tested the Olivia method. Very good. I was afraid that the heat would make this thing shatter, but we didn't have to leave it on there that long enough. So that's pretty cool. So thank you for joining us. We've got some young ladies that are sharp and 
great to have in here. So you'll be seeing more of Olivia. And, and you'll notice the way it works. All the good looking viewers are watching through that camera. Hi, good looking viewers. And the smart people are watching through that one right there. So I tend to try to keep it balanced. And then on the moving camera, those are the people that, you know, they're not too bright. And we just, we, we don't ignore you <laughs> on this camera. It's all right, but you know. We spend most of our time with the good looking or the smart people right here. But we're gonna help you, people in this camera. We're gonna help you move up to be either, either good looking or smart, or like me, both. So hey, we're not ignoring you over here at, at this camera. We still love you. Good folks, nothing bad matters. You just, you know. You don't look good. I mean, I mean, look at the difference. Which camera would I be at? No, no difference, right? Yeah. If she's smart too, I'm really going to be irritated. Now, if you would grow a beard, you could probably be Wizard Five. Gonna have to get onto that. I don't know. Are beards required to be a wizard? I don't. I look at the chart picture over there. The wizard. No, I guess I'm the only one with a beard. I better shut up. <laughs>